Oh, Ooh. oh my gosh. There Ooh. we go. There's the treasure chest. Three, two, one. Welcome back to Treasure Hunt with you, guys. guys. And today we're in Cali for the huge unit, nine by 30. Nine by 30, who knows what's in there? Do we have cash? There could be a car in there. There could be a dune buggy. There could be Rolexes. There could be safes, anything. I'm not gonna tell you what, but I'm gonna tell you one thing. This unit involved $70,000. You want to find out how, you're going to have to wait till later on in the video. Just know, it involved over 70 grand. Let's get into it. All right guys, so we've only been working on this unit for over an hour already, and we haven't even made a dent. Literally, we're maybe 15% of the way through. This thing, you don't understand how loaded this is. Remember what we said, I'm not saying it yet, but this unit involves $70,000, and we'll talk about that later. But for now, we're gonna go through some of the cool stuff we pulled out. If you wanna see some of the other cool stuff we pulled out, you're gonna have to go over to the Storage Auction Pirates channel too, because there's a lot more than just this table. Let's get into it. All right guys, so we pulled one box aside first because it looks very interesting. Look in here. Those look like gold rings to me, and that could be diamonds, but we'll get to that in a bit. Let's follow what we can first. These guys are kind of obnoxious, aren't they? With their loud motor stick and they're cool. Let's get into this box first. Ooh, see we have more jewelry here too. And an old coin. Looks like a old JFK coin there. I should be wearing gloves. See, look at my hands. This is disgusting. You were. No, I wasn't. <laughs> I never was today. Oh, I, I brought them out. We brought them out. I just never put them on. A nice little silver watch there. I don't know if it's real silver or not. They have like some bandage on the back. I don't know if that means it's broken or they're just trying to cover something up, but we got that. Look at this nice little gold thing here too. A little watch and chain. I don't know why people get these. These are so weird looking. I feel like every time we find a jewelry box though, we always find something that looks like that. And of course, we got money. Look at that. Two cents, woo! By the way, I don't think I mentioned, this unit only cost five bucks. Five dollars, because nobody wanted to move that much stuff, so it's all good. Let's keep going through here, see if we find anything else that looks interesting. There's another ring, look at that. Ooh. Let's see if there's any markings on it. If there, something is in there. It's a, it's a word though, it says like I-S-K-H something, I don't know. Anyone ever seen that ring before? That could very well be real gold and worth a lot of money right there. The diamonds are real too. Woo! Let's keep going. There's a, might be a gold necklace here. Any markings on it? I don't see any, but older jewelry, some of older jewelry is not marked. Sometimes it's just the newer ones that are marked. So that could be real, maybe not. I don't know, I'm gonna hold it aside for now. Same with this. These rope chains, I know, this is what I wear too on my neck, but mine are sterling silver. But this could be real gold too. And it looks like it has markings on it right here. American Showcase. I wonder if that means it's real or fake jewelry. Crazy people over here. I don't know what's going on over here. But we'll keep all this stuff that look potentially be real aside because we just don't know right now. If we keep going, doesn't look like too much else in there other than like you know obviously fake just costume jewelry but some people do buy costume jewelry so that Wait, doesn't mean anything. get that key out save that key because i don't Ooh. know like this unit's so big there might be a safe that's in there. a master key that could be for a master safe right there that very well could be in there we just started to go through this stuff there's a lot more there's a lot if that's a key more. right there and there's a safe in there that could solve everything with one little key We'll set that aside with what we think could be real gold right now. Any other keys, set them aside because we have no idea what's in there. There is a key in there. I think Another that's a car one. key. Save it. We'll that's set it aside anyway. There could be a car in there. This unit's huge. It really well could be a car in there. And other than that, I'm not seeing too much. Some change. Uh-oh, we got money. We got money. We have like a total of 15 cents here. This is a $5 unit. Okay, 15 cents, a good part of that money back already. It sounds stupid, but it is. Other than that guys, I think that's all it's in this jewelry box. I'll set this aside. And we got a little bit more in here too. A lot more actually. First thing we pulled out though, boom, look at that. 
I think they've probably been worn like a couple times. There's a little bit of grime on the bottom, but for the most part, they're in very good shape. They're size 10 brand top. Never heard of that one either. We'll set that one aside too. And look at this. Hello. Another jewelry box. Ooh, look, we got coins too. I see some Ike dollars in here. We have two Ike dollars. That's almost half. This and the change in the area. We already got like half the money back for the unit. Oh, yeah. A 1957 dime or nickel. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure most coins at 64 or lower, but I think the only nickels that are silver are 40s, the war nickels. I'm not too sure. I'm still learning coins. And it looks like this is a Mexican coin. I don't really know what it is exactly, but it says Mexico on it. So we have a Mexican coin there. Let me put these back in the baggie. I don't know why they save you. I don't think these are the Ikes are silver because I think they have to be 64 earlier too. Or at least a smaller percentage of silver. I don't know. Somebody let me know in the comments. But look at all the rings in there. Look at that line. Ooh. The lion? Give it to Pirate. We might have to. That looks pretty cool. That looks like a pirate ring, doesn't it? <laughs> this is something they would come to your ship, shoot your ship up with, and take it just like that. We have another. Look at that. What is that? These are some cool looking rings. Who knows if these are real or not and their value or anything like that. Here's a couple more. Look at those. These all look like these pirate, are all rings. pirate rings. These are all pirate rings. We should get pirate over here. We gotta get them over here and give them all these rings. Oh, oh, oh. It comes oh, out. A hidden compartment. A knife! A knife! It says Camp King. It's really rusty knife. Ew, that, that's like an instant no shot, you need to go to the emergency room the second that penetrates your skin. Not good, not good. Here I am talking about it with no gloves. Um, are those dancing raisins? Looks like it. That's what storage units are fun, you just don't know. There's somebody's cards. Any gift cards? No, these are all credit cards that I'm seeing. All credit cards in there. What's that? An old like watch thing? All right. Like a pocket watch a, holder? Looks like it. A 1941 dime. So that one probably is silver right there. Just a little dime. Uh, let's see. Anything else in there? Pirate, we got some rings for you. These are some pirate rings right here. These are definitely pirate rings. Those are pirate rings. Those are better pirate rings. Those, Those are pirate rings. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some amateur pirate rings. But as soon as you no. see them, you just think. That Good person's thing. gonna jump your well, ship and rob you. Do you have the lion sound effect in your video? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Boom. What is this, too? <laughs> what, what is, is that? Uh, Any idea? Back in the pool? Somebody, somebody the pool. out there's gotta know. Make sure you let us know that in the comments. Maybe that's that's like weird. I don't know. It's, maybe it's a chemical bomb, and as soon as I drop it, it breaks, <laughs> we're all dead. I don't know. What you gotta this? let us know in the comments. This is a commemorative JFK coin. Could be real gold. Who knows? A lot of times they're not, but if anyone's ever seen them, you gotta just make... Bleh. If anyone's ever seen them, you guys gotta make sure you let us know down in the comments below. That bracelet's for sure gold. Which the one? The little one next to the perfume bottle. It's here, right there. That's this? Gold. Is it gold? It's yeah. Pirate knows his stuff. Look at that. This man knows his stuff. <laughs> what about these then? We found some more gold ones too. They look like they're fake though. Oops. Potential gold. Gotta test them. Yeah. We got a nice little ring too. How do you test your gold? My eyes. Oh. <laughs> He's that good guys. I have done this <laughs> for so long and had so much gold tested that um, I, when I look at it, when I look in a jewelry box, I could tell by the shininess of the gold and I instantly know. Wow. I gotta get to that level. I know. We also got a little shoe box in here. What does that say on the side? Cranes, fine line, thin, pearl white, match envelopes. Oh, Ooh. oh my gosh. There Ooh. we go. There's the treasure chest. You see, it's what we're searching for right here. Did I just open it? Yeah, countdown. Three, two, one. Oh, it's stuck. It's stuck. Oh. What's no in there, guys? What is it? What is this? What is that? Why? What is that? I don't know. Is it heavy? No. Is it a gold bar? <laughs> Why would you keep that in there? Oh. Another secret compartment? It's like a sewing kit or something. Look at that. What is that? 
Do you see it? Yeah, I see it. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. Somebody's got to let us know. That's really, really strange. A couple more things in this box. Let's see what else we got in here. So look at the, the Pyre just pointed out. Look at the top of this. Do you guys think that could be jade? Could it be worth 20 bucks? Could it be worth a thousand? I don't know. Maybe 10 grand. Maybe it's a car worth the jade. I have no idea. But that could have some real value right there. A couple more things in this box. Let's see what else we got. Ugh. A paper shredder. Joy! Just what I wanted. Let's see what's in here. Is it in there? Okay, it is in there. So, a paper shredder. Sorry if the audio is a little bad. Look right next to us. We're sitting right next to the highway because it's the only place we can get in the shade enough for the camera lighting to not be horrible. Be quiet, cars! Stop driving! Oh, speaking of camera lighting, look what we got. An Olympia Lifetime Memories camera. Let's see what we got in there. Oh, it, is, it's a, it is in there. The camera is? Wow, look at that. Look at this. Look at that light though. Wow. This is a time portal right here. Look at this. Just think, look at it. This this camera, looking into this camera. That's how far technology's evolved so quick. That's pretty crazy. Look at the camera light. It's probably more of a flash than a light since it's probably just a photography camera. I seriously doubt it can take video. But that's pretty sweet. It looks like brand new. It does. Even if it doesn't have any value, it's not always about just making the most money. Sometimes it's just cool to see the history and the way things have changed over time. Anything else in this box? Look, we have some loose jewelry, some batteries. The rest of it, unfortunately, looks like a bunch of mail and things like that. All right, guys, so we have a couple more boxes to go through this time. Then we're gonna have to cut it. We're gonna have to make multiple parts because this unit is massive. We already have so much stuff out and we've maybe gone through 25%. Don't forget, I'm still gonna tell you how this unit involves $70,000. It's coming, just wait. Oh, oh, first thing I see, I wish I didn't see. 49ers, that is disgusting. Store oh. stalker. Look at this. Isn't this gross? Disgusting and awful. What do you think, Pirate? I think that is the greatest team known in existence in the history of football, and what? that is priceless hat. What? What is he even judging this off of? <laughs> Ugh, garbage. So we have some three millimeter high density. Are these floppy disks? Disks. I don't know. They might be floppy disks. Oh, it's empty. I thought that was gonna be exciting, but it's empty. Oh, like a pencil case here, paper. Ooh, look, a permanent damage diagram for an old car. I don't know what it's for, but it's there, it's there. A cup, what's in here? There's a bunch of ties and stuff. That box looks more interesting than it actually is. Ooh, I would put these on here, but no. Okay, that's all that's pretty much in that one. But it will see uh, any boxes that look like there's stuff in there, we're just setting aside to show you. Oh. oh, that looks like an older version. Look at the pegs. Pull oh, the pegs whoa. out. Yeah, look at this. This is a really old version of pegs. The only, this is going to sound sad, I know, but the only reason I know how to play pegs is maybe somebody out there can relate. If one other person relates to me, please let me know. It's because it sits at the table in the Cracker Barrel restaurant. That's the only way I know this game and the only way I know it exists. I relate. There's one. Thank you. <laughs> this was made in 1988. Not as old as I thought it would be, but... Still a pretty cool peg game. Look, hmm. oh, Coca-Cola. Salt and pepper shakers. Is that, oh, let's see that too. What is this? Behind every boss is a great secretary. Eh. Be your own boss and your own secretor sec secretary. Secretary. Secretarial I boss lady. <laughs> that. That thing. Coca-Cola, salt and pepper shakers. Everything Coke is collectible, so that's pretty cool. Words to live by. 365 Bible verses. I mean Bible. What do we have here? Ooh, silverware. What if it's silver? It's imperial stainless. But this stuff is surprisingly, like silverware is surprisingly worth a lot of money. I've, I've been amazed that like when I look up silverware things and the prices I get for it, I'm always like this close from throwing it away. Now I check everything. We got Teddy Town. What, 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 what is that? Is that a teddy bear? It is a dancing teddy bear. Can you see it? Uh, not really through the bubble wrap. It's, it's there. It's there. Trust me. It's there. It looks like a ballerina bear. Yes. Yeah, I don't want to point the camera down. Just take the family pictures out. No. Get them out the way. Over four. <laughs> Over forty toilet paper. That's a pirate. 
You know you're over 40 when it takes all night to do what you used to do all night. You, f you know you're 40 when you fe feel like the morning sweat. You can. Uh, it's just a bunch of middle-aged people jokes. You need to give that. Wait, Pirate's not over 40. I think he's like. I don't know. I don't think he's over 40. Your mom's over 40 though. Give we it should, to them. We should give that. Mama Jeebus. Oh. If I can get out of this here. Mama Jeebus. Mama Jeebus. Actually, I'm gonna do that. We're gifting this to you. What is that? It's over 40 toilet paper. I don't need that because I'm not 40. Here, take it back. 40, 24. 24. She's only 27, right? 24? 24. Oh, okay. And my son's 25. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good joke. She loved it. Now she probably wants to kill me. Yeah, she does. She, said, she said she's not over 40. She's 24. She's 24 and I'm 25. Explain the science, guys. <laughs> Explain the science. But we got this little thing right here. That's kind of cool looking. And oop, what do we got in this? Ooh, it's secure. Let's see what's in there. Ugh. If I can get into it, what do you think? What's your guess? Um, something breakable. Very breakable. Look how heavy that is. 24% lead crystals. Shut up, truck! Anyone who sees that, don't drink Mike's alcohol because they're too loud. But this thing says 24% lead crystal. I wonder if Pyro wants that. Maybe. We also, ooh, so two ceramic Dennis the Menace mugs. Who remembers Dennis the Menace? Oh, I used to love that stupid show. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool right there. Who does not love Dennis the Menace? I never watched it. Really? Yeah. Oh, I used to come on Boomerang right after, um, all the 90s shows, like I remember on Boomerang, I used to be able to watch in a row every night was Johnny Bravo, Cow and Chicken, yeah. Dexter's Laboratory, yeah. Ed, Ed, and Eddie, yeah. all in a row. Then after that would come like the earlier cartoons. Like it would be um, Huckleberry, and then it would be Dennis okay, the Dennis. Okay, so yeah, like right after that, I would cut it off. <laughs> no, I'd watch it. Let's not muck it up. Don't demonetize me, YouTube. I said muck. Calm down. And that. And guys, I think that is pretty much it for the boxes we have today all right guys so that's going to be it for this part we're going to have more coming and don't forget if you want to see more of this storage unit head over to the storage auction fires channel too because he's going to have a lot a lot more of this coming too and so are we we are only beginning this unit and i promise you guys at the beginning i will tell you about the seventy thousand dollars so the story behind this unit is it's been here and it's been owned by the same people since 1999. we don't know exactly how they lost it or what happened but Overall, over 20 years, they spent over $70,000 protecting whatever's in this unit. Remember, we just got into the front. We have no idea what's back there. Could be huge safes, could be Rolexes, cash, car, who knows? We're just gonna keep going and you don't wanna miss it. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome treasure hunting videos all the time. If you do wanna follow us on our social media, links are gonna be on screen. Click the links down in the description below. Make sure you follow us on whatever you have. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace out.